Welcome back to the Sims 4 My Hero Academia Edition. Now, in the last episode, things got a little steamy. They got a little spicy. But today, we're gonna have a nice, wholesome, relaxing episode. And the best way to do that is by hanging out with this pea brain. I know that I have not been the kindest to Saro historically. It looks like Jean from Bob's Burgers. It does. With that stupid hair. That stupid haircut. <laughs> He's not been my favorite character in the world. But you know what? Recently, I might be changing my tune. This little guy right here is starting to really intrigue me. You know, it, it has to do with the smile, the, the bulging eyes. He's been lonely, you know, things haven't been going so hot for him in our Sims game. So we're just gonna play as Sarah today. Let him do whatever Sarah wants to do. And we're gonna see what happens. You can do anything, or, um, uh, you know what? He doesn't feel like doing anything. He's a diva. So we're gonna make this boy something tasty to eat. All right, Saro. I'm gonna trust you in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure you're the one who started the fire several episodes ago, but today's about you. Pretty hard to set the kitchen on fire making a grilled cheese sandwich, but you know what? I wouldn't look it past you, so uh, he's doing it. He did it! Oh, what a fabulous boy. Round of applause. Well, how do you feel? You like your sandwich? How's about after this we take a nice bubble bath? And then maybe you can go on a playtime adventure with Dinky. Feel like I'm babysitting. Is anything really going on in that little brain of yours? Anything at all? What are you doing back there, shirtless man? Cleaning dishes. Oh, Todoroki heard it was Saro Day. He's gonna do the dishes for him. What a nice roommate. And you know what? This boy wants to go to bed, so we're gonna let him go to bed. Maybe we'll take a nice bubble bath in the morning. What are you just standing by the toilet for? Oh my gosh. Okay, I forgot that uh, this is happening now. So what, is this both of their rooms? What should I do with this room? Maybe I can split these two up and put him in here. But then, I know what you guys want. I know exactly what you guys want. But then we're gonna have a whole extra room if Bakugo leaves his. We'll figure that out. We'll cross that metaphorical bridge when we get there. But you know what? I heard what you guys are saying in the comments in the last episode. Don't you worry, we'll get there eventually. Nobody helps me around here. I gotta pee, wearing a flannel shirt, looking like a snack. Mom Kirishima back at it again. No, it wasn't Kirishima dad and Bakugo his mom. You know what, sometimes we have a little bit of a role reversal, it's fine. Performance, excellent. <gasps> He's doing so well in school. All right, rise and shine, sleepyhead. We got things to do, we have things to do. You know, I just had a thought, a T-H-O-T. -T. What if, I take Deku's desk situation and we make an office. Because Sarah's about to have to go in there and write jokes while these two bozos are asleep and that feels invasive, you know what I mean? So maybe it's time we make a formal office space. Maybe put two computers in so more than one person can do work at a time. We'll see. Are you enjoying yourself, honey? Is this a nice bubble bath? You're getting nice and fresh, nice and clean. Good, because you're about to have to do work on your Cerro day. <laughs> you're clean enough, get out! Bean Blender, thank you, he's been promoted to Bean Blender. He will not make an additional $13 an hour for a grand total of $41 an hour. Good job, Danky. Kirishima, why are you talking to me while I'm writing jokes, my friend? Step! Also, these two boys are trying to sleep. This is rude as heck. Hold on, I gotta tell you guys something. I found this cosplayer on Instagram, and he is an amazing cellophane. Like, um, hello. <laughs> Has anyone ever seen a picture of Saro and been like, hello? <laughs> because I officially have. Anyway, that's it. Back to shenanigans. <laughs> hey, Saro, how's it going? Pretty good, Kirishima. Just rudely talking, waking Deku up when he's trying to sleep. Deku just gave him a look like, cool, way to be in my room. Oh, now Todoroki's up too. Aggressively makes bed. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. Nice to hear from ya. Kirishima's like, hey, cool, bye. Nobody else in here to disrupt. Time to leave. All right, boy, you got 10 hours to get 75% of your work done. Can he do it? 
This has been a very fabulous Saro day. We're just making him do his job. We're helping him become a high-class entertainer, okay? We're focusing on our boy and his well-being. Oh, honey, what are those? <laughs> they look so goofy with hats on because their hair is ridiculously spiky. Please go eat, Danky. We need to have a play day after Sarah was done with his homework. Someone's mad. What else is new? Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Today's mail has been delivered. Nobody cares. Bills have been... I suddenly care. I just paid $5,000, like, in the last episode. Why do I have to pay it again so soon? All right, um, we are in sudden need of a big chunk of money, and I don't have it. Should we sell the giant guitar? <laughs> I feel bad using cheat codes. Cheat codes brought this building up. Cheat codes will tear it down. Oh, I can sell the basil. All right, Kirishima, I have discovered how we are going to make our money. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. We're gonna sell the knickknacks. Sell the knickknacks. They're just here for appearances. Who needs this? Nobody. $300. Wow, amazing. That lamp can stay, though. All right, what's an unnecessary item? This plant? Yes. Are we gonna keep it? Yes. Has anyone ever sat in these chairs? No. Am I gonna sell them? No. <laughs> All right, Bakugo also has unnecessary knickknacks. Die, die. We do not need that. In fact, we don't even need this desk at all, but the room would look so empty without it. Let's see what else we can do. What is this? I'm sorry, Saro. It's for the greater good. Hope you understand. Candles. A globe. Those are all necessary items. We don't really need this, do we? We can buy this back when we have a house party. For now... That was a lot of money. All right, what else? I'm sure we can part with one plant. No, I don't want to. You know that feel when you're so poor, you're selling your flowers in your garden? Yeah, I've been there. I feel like I'm playing a game of Monopoly and like, I'm trying not to go bankrupt right now. All right, we're gonna kill the porch chairs. No one has ever sat in those. I think we need 5,800. Oh, fine. Fine. All right, we did it. Oh, we did it. We, we made money by selling our material goods instead of cheating. Because cheating's for cheaters. Sarah, I'll let you do the honors of paying the bills. That's why these boys all have jobs, you hear? How can I decrease the bills that I have? How does one do that? All right, boy, more than ever, I need you to get a promotion, even though you literally just got one, because we need more money. Step what you're doing. Who's spending money downstairs? Who's spending money? Was it you? It was you. Are you boys really going to spend money on food and then not finish making it? Oh, my God. Oh. It's fine. Nobody wanted to live anyway. Goodbye, boys. Have a good day at work. Go make some money so we don't have to go bankrupt. Thank you for giving away all our money, Sarah. We really appreciate having $50 to our name. Anyway, um, you know what we gotta do in times of crisis? We gotta dance. Precisely the best way to end your day. Dance with your best bud. Wearing a very odd work uniform. But you know what? It symbolizes our desire to keep this house running. You're having a good day, little buddy. Knowing that we almost couldn't pay our bills today and you got to, you know, throw away a few of your favorite knickknacks. It's fine though. Uh-oh, the maid's here. She's gonna take money from us and we're not gonna be able to pay her. Uh... Dismiss her. Stop. Don't touch a dang thing, lady. Get out. Are you a man or a woman? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, we have no money. But we have two dollars. That's a little bit better than nothing. He's just blissfully unaware of all the hardships of life. Just like Pocket. Just like Pocket. If we need to, we'll sell the gold jewelry right off his wrists. 
Have a good day, my little friend. All we can do for now is just sit next to the giant guitar of hope. Cross our fingers for brighter days ahead. All right, nobody eats until Todoroki gets home from work. This is the law now. I'd say this was a pretty successful Saro day. He just relaxed. He did some work. He hung out with his buddy. All's well that ends well. <gasps> and look who's back to sit with us. Oh, what a beautifully pleasant meal we're having here. You're having a good day. I hope you are. We're here to love and support Saro. I think we're gonna leave it at that today. What better way to end an episode than a shirtless lad talking to his coffee shop wearing lad and Deku silently dancing in the background. <laughs> and Kirishima strutting that butt. Beautiful. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we might get into some more shenanigans. Who even knows anymore? <laughs> thank you for joining me and I'll see you then. Goodbye.